Hi, my name is Romney and thank you very much for joining me on my YouTube channel. If you haven't been to my channel before, it's all about creating, building and scaling your self-publishing business. Now, after having published over 350 books on KDP and also Ingram Spark, I want to be able to give you the opportunity of learning the skills and the knowledge that I've acquired to help you to scale your self-publishing business. So today's video is all about niche research and what I do to be able to scale my, my books by finding the right niches. So welcome and thank you again for joining me as part of this tutorial. Remember if you like these videos to give me a thumbs up, to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're made aware of new videos I'm creating all the time about self-publishing, particularly in low and no con content uh, book uh, niches. So today's video, I want to be able to teach you and show you some of the techniques and the research methods that I use to be able to find those niches that have low competition but are in high demand. And there's a few different tools that I use that are actually really important to be able to um, find those niche categories and areas that you know that you can actually compete in and perhaps appear on one, page one or page two. The hardest thing right now is that with KDP, uh, it's obviously free to be able to upload your books. Therefore, the resistance point of people being able to create books is quite low. So a lot of people starting to do it. But you need to be able to continue to find those niches and get onto them early so that you can get your book there, get some uh, good reviews and be able to have a long-term impact in that niche and have a long-term passive income. So what I want to be able to show you in a moment is to um, look at a, a tutorial that I've created that will help you uh, find those special niches and the tools that I personally use and um, fortunately, having been able to sell well over 20,000 books already this year, um, I've been able to find particular niches that have really scaled up my, my publishing business. So let me jump on now and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Welcome to my niche research video. And the intent of this video is to be able to show you the techniques that I use, the tools that I use, um, that I find the most beneficial when I am searching for uh, niches that I believe are going to be profitable for me and books that I can actually make. So throughout this video, I'm going to actually be showing you the tools, um, the different methods that I use, and then I'll actually provide you right at the end of the video um, with a couple of really important uh, tools that you can use uh, yourself um, and a tracker. So that's something that I would highly recommend that you stick around and, and watch because that will mean you'll be able to track all of those niches, all your research, collectively put it together so that you can actually um, put that into place and you can uh, make sure that you actually go and uh, do all those uh, or you know find those special niches that you know are going to be profitable and have a follow-up action plan ready for it. So the first thing we need to do is go on to what the niche, niche research actually means for us and how that will work with KDP. So the first thing we need to understand are the considerations. So what we're looking for in any of the books that we want to make, a higher need, so customers are actually searching for that particular uh, niche or that genre or that book type and is low competition if we can find it and that's the challenge with niche research and that's what I really want to try and help you with uh, in this uh, tutorial so what I would always do first is you need to go and try and find out um, what those high needs are and where the low competition is and that will obviously start with Amazon but Firstly, we need to get an understanding of what is high need and what is low competition and what that actually means to us. So our rules will be for high need, we need uh, we, we use the average BSR, um, which is four books with a BSR under 250,000. So let me show you what I mean um, for, for that to start with. So the first thing we need to do when we jump on Amazon is to go into incognito mode. 
that just allows us to have a bit of a clean um, uh, search results ra rather than if you're just to use the normal Chrome, for example, and you're, you might have cookies that are attached to previous search results and previous books that you've searched might come up and distort your data. So we need to try and have a clean slate pretty much when we start. Now, there are two trains of thought when you're doing your niche research. Some people like to look under books like this. Other people like to search under all. And it's okay either way, but the way that I always look at it, if I'm doing no content books, I'll go to all or all departments. If I'm going for low content books, I'll go to books. And it's just works for me better that way and I find that my results are much better and the search results are going to be much better for me as well. So the first thing we need to do um, is actually have a bit of a look and see what I meant about the, the BSR and what a BSR is. So I've got a Chrome extension um, it's uh, called AMZ sorry DS Amazon Quick View that's the Chrome extension and that will allow me to see what the rate ranking or the BSR is. That's basically where the book stands out of every single book on Amazon, what the ranking is. So these books here, they're the, the best sellers. So the BSR of this book is six. Uh, so if you scroll down, the BSR changes and you might have a book, for example, it's got a BSR of 835,000. So that's your ranking on Amazon. What we're looking for are books um, that have obviously, you know, our BSR needs to be um, you know, under around about 250,000 for us to sort of consider whether the niche is going to be suitable for us. So the first thing we need to do is to actually find a niche and I can show you what I mean with uh, the, the competition and the search results as well. And when I'm talking about high need and the low competition, so high need, We'll use the average BSR of, of four books with the BSR under 250,000. It'll make sense in a moment. And low competition search results, we're aiming for under 2,000 search results. So let's go back to Amazon. And for example's sake, if we were to do a search uh, for, uh, you know, we'll do a kid's gratitude journal. Okay, and we'll do a search for that one. We'll see that the results are 50,000, which is huge. We're looking for results of around about 2,000, and that will actually show that the competition side of things is a lot is low. So it means there's 2,000 results. We want to get that results as low as we can but we want to get the average BSR, um, you know, the books that appear on the on the first page, for example, to be quite high. So if we were to if we were to just eliminate the search results, we're looking for about four or five books on page one that have a BSR of under around about 150 to 200,000. There'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'd already have our, there's a need for it, an absolute need for these kinds of books. However, our search results are way, way too high. Let's look at another niche and we'll find out um, what this looks like. And remember, I'm also going to be showing you some other really critical tools in regards to finding uh, book niches as well. Uh, so let's just write hand, handwriting. Um, okay, let's have a look. There might be, let's just do, <clears throat> I know, here, cursive handwriting. We might try cursive handwriting. Okay, cursive handwriting. And then these, this will actually show us the search results. Now, what we need to do is collectively get these search results and we need to start to check each of these as we go along. So what I would do, I'd go control print screen and I would place them in a special spreadsheet that I've made. So this is something you would I highly recommend that you do. So you have what your keyword is, 
a long or short tail keyword. So a short tail keyword is pretty much cursive handwriting paper, for example. A long tail keyword would be cursive handwriting workbook for kids aged 8 to 12. And so that's, and even these ones, they're what they call long tail keywords. So we would then write down these keywords here. Um, so we might go for more of a longer tail keyword. So uh, cursive handwriting book for adults and then we'd write the next one down and I'll just pause this and I'll write a few of the keywords uh, down that I've got here and then what I would do is write down whether it's a long tail or short tail so just go long and then just keep going down here okay these are these are long tail I would call that a short tail keyword that would be a short tail keyword and that would be a short tail keyword. Now, what I need to do is determine the average BSR. Now, how do I do that? Well, I would go back to um, my results and I we, let's let's write, let's do this one here. Cursive handwriting book for kids age 8 to 12. So this will be a good example of what it looks like. So this one's got 690 results. So it's the cursive handwriting workbook for kids 8 to 12. So what I might do, I'll copy this up and I'm going to paste it in my spreadsheet unless I've already got it. No, I don't have it. So I'm going to write that there. I'm going to call it a long tail keyword. Then what I need to do is determine the average BSR. So what I do, the um, special um, uh, where that I've got uh, called KD Spy. And what I would do is use KD Spy to determine the average BSR across these books. Now you can do it manually and you can get go through and you can count up all the books and average it out. But with this, uh, with KD Spy, it actually does all the calculations um, for me. And that's going to be really important. Okay, so it starts calculating the average sales rank. And that's what we're looking for. And we want an average sales rank under look under 150,000 is excellent um even up to towards 200,000 is okay but that is very very good so we've got the results so we've got 690 so we go back to our spreadsheet and we write the number of um sorry search results which was 690 then we've got the number of books under 150k on the first page let's have so oh, actually write this down. So the average is 90,000. Although what I like to do is discard any of those really big blowout sort of BSR books like this one here. So I'd get rid of that. And the rest are pretty good. So anything sort of over around about 800,000 you can just eliminate. Maybe it's usually two or three. So now it brings it down to 28,416. So we go back here. 28,416. We got search results, 690, number of books under that. So we go here and we've got one, two, three, four, another one, another one. There's about, gosh, <laughs> there's about 15. There's about 15 of them, so, or more. So what we do, we go back here, write 15. And that is a very, very good uh, one that we would consider doing. So what we do, we have our little high, so little competition high need. We then highlight it in our color. And therefore, we know that that's going to be a good one to use as well. And you can even, you know, you can, once you get here, you can actually do the sort uh, as well. And, um, you know, you can sort them through. So what you do is go through each of these keywords that were coming up when we did our search. So remember when we did our search here, so one more. So let's go to our first one, which was just here. And we copy that. Then we go to, and, and we, write, we, we uh, put it into our search bar. That didn't come up, did it? I need to do it again. And then, what we'll do is go to a search. And this brings up 
1,000 results. So we go back to our spreadsheet. The number of search results is 1,000. The average BSR, we need to use it's a one-off payment for KDE Spy, and I've, I love it. Um, so, But you could add all these up and average it out. But what we do is use KDE Spy, and I'll calculate the average um, BSR for us. Just wait for it to calculate. The calculation comes up, and we have a look through here. That one we could get rid of. Then it brings the BSR average down to 27,500. So we go back here, we write 27,500. The number of books, we remember we want, if we go back to our rules, we're looking for four books with a BSR under 250 and under 2000 search results. So we go back to here again and we get rid of that one and we have a look. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five six okay it already covers it seven eight nine ten all right so we got we write ten for example and then we do the rest for all these keywords here and eventually we start to see what it looks like so i'll fast forward and i'll show you um what a completed uh, one would look like okay so i've just re been doing these uh so i just want to Make sure it's all unified. And this would be how I do my niche research. And I then color code it based on the high, little, oh, sorry, little, medium, or high uh, competition. So I would then filter them and have them all ready to go. And then I could determine whether these are books that I'm going to actually go through and pursue. But the next thing is, well, how, how can we? continue to find profitable niches that's a really important point and we can't just suddenly they appear out of nowhere so there's another software that i use to try and get ideas about my niche research and it's called book bolt and i'll show you what that looks like in a moment so this is bolt here it's bookbolt.io and um it's a like a one-off uh, sorry it's a it's a monthly subscription of around about 10 or 11 US dollars, but he's, for me, it has been absolutely worth the spend. In fact, I'll show you what my orders have been like. So from May 1st to July 29th, 2021, I've had 3,854 books uh, ordered. So uh, that's, that's the power of using software, and I can credit BookBolt to being able to help me get to these kinds of figures now. Um, watch my other videos if you want to sort of see uh, my other results as well. So if we go to BookBolt, um, what I'm going to do is sign in. So under in BookBolt, there are different uh, features that are here. But the one that we're going to be focusing on is called the cloud. And this is where I get a lot of ideas for niche research. And what you need to do, we want our average BSR, BSR range to be around about the, let's just say, oh, we'll go to 295,000. Price, our books usually sell for under 10 bucks. So we go to there and you can choose the categories. So you can have all these different categories here. Um, you might just want to leave it on journal, for example. Top 100 bestsellers, we can choose whatever we want to. And I might do uh, kids and a few random ones come up occasionally. And let's just have a look and see what it comes up, what results come up. Um, and it gives us some ideas about what's tracking well and what's not. So these results come up and these might give us some ideas about what we want to do. So the average BSR past 30 days, 146. 360, um, 1,589. And what you can do, you can uh, click on this little button here, and this will actually give us some data. The book about where it's been tracking, uh, what the price, so that's the price. It's remained at $5.99. And July 6th, it was ranked 271. On In August 29, 1,589. So it just shows you uh, what data it actually has and you can actually click on this link and it'll actually take you straight to the book so you can go down here and get some ideas and go okay creative gratitude journal uh, unicorn composition notebook a comic book 
Homeschool Planner, Unicorn Journal, Composition Notebook there. There might be some common themes that you start to see. Space, uh, you've got a yellow composition notebook, another comic notebook, another unicorn one as well. Uh, another space one, there's shark themes, dinosaurs, space again. So obviously space is quite popular. And we can click on that again. Let's have a look at this one and see how this one's been tracking. So it doesn't have any data. That's all right. <laughs> Not sure why. That's a wrong book to pick, wasn't it? Um, so we can keep continue going down. Another blank comic book. So obviously they're doing well. So you just need to try and find the niches through BookBolt that are trending at the moment, and they will give you great niche ideas. So what you would then do is click, for example, on this one here. This can then take you into Amazon directly to the book. You can find out the features of the book in regards to the size of it, the format of it, how many pages it is, like what the, um, the the information is about the book. So it's a really, really handy resource to be able to go and just find different um, niche ideas that will help you. So that's called BookBolt, and I recommend it. There's a link below to BookBolt if you feel it's going to be suitable for you. Um, so the next niche research tool that you might be considering um, would be a Redbubble and I'll show you that in a moment and you just go to redbubble.com and you, if you do searches on Redbubble you can actually start to find out what's trending as well uh, so there might be different things for example uh, if you did uh, let's wait for this if you see the nurse gift for example and you enter and it will bring up different things that are actually trending so I've used it a few times and it'll actually show me you know different things that um, uh, that people might be, and it might be an idea for a front cover for your book so there are different things that you might like to, to look at as well and just to go to those tools, so we've used Amazon. I've showed you a quick look at BookBolt. Uh, we've used KD Spy. I've shown you a really quick look at Redbubble. I think that's something that you might just need to look at yourself a bit more. The last one is Publisher Rocket. And Publisher Rocket is it's a one-off payment of about 90 bucks, um, but it's very, very valuable in regards to um, you know trying to find out if the niche is going to be profitable or not. So let me jump on Publisher Rocket, and we'll use one of our keywords from our research to find out if it gives us some more information about that uh, topic. So I'm now on Publisher Rocket and it gives us these different categories that we can use. So we're going to use the keyword search tool and we're going to plug in, uh, if we just do maybe this one just here and we'll go back to Publisher Rocket and we Paste that one, it might be too long, and we want to choose book. You can choose uh, ebook, but we're just going to choose book. We go, go get them, rocket, go get them, rocket, and we'll find out if it actually comes up with something for us. So it just takes a little search. So this one didn't give us a huge comprehensive look at what we want, but we'll just click here anyway and see what the results come up as. Probably won't come up with anything. Uh, a little bit here. So it gives you the competition score. So we're going to change it. We're just going to do cursive handwriting. And you can do this for any topic. You can choose any topic you like and just do maybe three, maybe max four words. Put it into Rocket and then it will come up with all these different options here. So these are the different keywords that people are likely to be searching for and what we do we check out what the competitive score is so I'm going to click all these here as long as it's relative to what we want and then I'll show you what the results look like it comes up with what we call a competitive score the closer to the 100 the more competitive it is so something quite low so this one for example 
It's got a competitive score of 10, but it's only got an average monthly sales of 18. Uh, so we don't want that. Let's go up here a bit further. Now, this is the one that we were looking at before. Cursive handwriting workbook for kids age 8 to 12. 93 pages, number of competitors 673, average price 7 bucks, average monthly earnings 3,304, um, Amazon search results there, and a competitive score of 35, which is fantastic. So that is uh, the power of Publisher Rocket. And the one other thing we can do, we can actually have a look and check out by pushing this button here, uh, some different books that we might be competing against. So this will bring up some more information here and we can find out what the average BSR is and we'll just wait for this to load a little bit further. And we can sort of scroll down and have a bit of a look. So monthly sales, it gives you the monthly sales and all different data about even the categories. So if you're searching for categories, for example, this one here, we have a look at this categories and this will actually tell us the categories that that book's in and what the sales ranking is as well. So that's the power of Publisher Rocket. And again, I'll leave a, a link to Publisher Rocket if you think this is going to be something that's going to be powerful for your niche research as well. So let's just quickly finish off by going back to our, um, our presentation. So the last thing we need to cover is actually keeping track of all your keywords. Make sure you write down them, write them down. You can um, call a niche, whatever you want to, long or short tail keyword, the average BSR and the results. And remember, we're looking for low competition and high need. And if we go back to our original um, slide and we look at our rules, We've got high need, we use the average BSR, so four books with a BSR under 250K, and low competition, so the search results aim for under 2,000 search results. So that's what we're looking for as part of our niche research. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, they are some of my techniques that I use for research for KDP. Now, it's never going to be exhaustive because there's always different methods and means that you can actually use to uh, find different niche categories. However, they've been effective for me to date. So remember that if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.